Okay, so now I have another corner right here. Um, so now we're going to want one that points away from the center and that matches this. This one points away, but as you can see, those two arrows are facing opposite directions. These two are facing opposite directions. So let's look for another one. This looks like a good one. Um, but I can already tell, see if you can see. We're going to want this to point downwards and this one points upwards. And again, I'm just moving, I'm just rotating it so I can visualize it and I can show it to you guys. Well, I can do that in my head. but Okay, and I don't want that one, again, because we want one that's pointing away from the center, not towards the center. Now it points towards the center. Okay, so this is the one we want. It points away from the center, and it goes downwards. So let's go ahead and do our F2L. You can see, it points away from the center, and it goes downward. So let's go ahead and move on to the next one, the next corner. Okay, so I have another corner here. It's in the correct position. I'm going to look for its edge. I'm going to look for one that's pointing away from the center and that's going in the same direction. So that one's pointing to the center. Don't want that one. Let's try this one. It's pointing away from the center. That's my own big good candidate. And there we go. See, it's pointing towards, it's pointing um, away from the center and it's going in the upwards direction just like this face does again to help you visualize it that's what it would look like let's do our F2L and there we go solved now once you have three done and even once you have two done the, the next ones will be easier the hardest one is always the first one because you have to look for all the pieces okay so let's do the last one this should be really quick let me just kind of show you what I've been doing um, I'm just kind of been experimenting with the different pieces until I find the right one, like this one, for example. Okay, so see, that was a lot faster. Um, again, experimenting. So now let's see, we need one that points towards the center, like this one, points towards the center, and it points downwards. And then we got that right off the bat. Easy. Okay. And the more F2L you do, the easier it'll be. So there we go. That's how I do the F2L. So we just finished the first two layers. And we're going to start on the cross on top. Now what you want to do to do this is look on the side pieces of the third layer. These are the first two layers is the third layer. And look and see if you have one that's pointing every direction. So we need one that points down, one that points up, and two that point to the left. Looks like we have two that point down. That's not correct. But we know that these two are correct because one it doesn't matter if they're aligned or not by the way so if these two are correct let's pretend that that's the l solve okay so now we have one that's pointing down one that's pointing up sorry down up and two that are pointing in the same direction now we can look for ones that are solved let's align Let's start with the up one. Okay, now which one is aligned? This one's aligned. So we know those two are the good ones, so we put them in the right and the back. Do a little move, and there we go. Now, you should be able to align all of these pieces, like that. So now we have the cross on top. So right now, this center piece is not aligned. Now you want to do one of two things. If it's rotated 180 degrees, don't worry about it because you can fix that later. It's an easy fix. If it's not rotated 180 degrees, you probably need to adjust your cube somehow. A few things you can do to adjust your cube by doing some of these moves, the moves to get the cross. And recheck, all, go over all your steps again and make sure. just kind of mess around with it until you have all the pieces see basically what I did is I just kind of goofed off a little bit kind of 
did some cross moves because there's a few cross moves you can do and now I have to a point to where it's pointing um, 180 degrees of where it's supposed to be pointing and all these are still in their solve state so just kind of mess around with it a little bit if it's off by 90 degrees you'll need to do that it'll either be solved or off by 180 degrees if it's off by 180 degrees you're good if you now come to the point where it's off by 180 degrees this is how you solve it I'm um, just how you flip the center 180 degrees you're gonna go right up R prime U and just repeat R U R prime U R prime R prime U there you go another option is to wait until you've solved the entire puzzle and then worry about flipping the center because if it's off by 180 degrees you can rotate it around using that same move R U R prime U R U R prime U you can do that same move without messing up any other pieces see I just flipped it around and you have to do R prime sorry R U R prime U you have to do that six times um, now you can see you didn't mess anything up there's the F2L it's still good to go and all these are still aligned and now this is turned the right way so we're almost there all we need to do is get the corners now so let's try to find a corner that's in the correct spot we got lucky remember it doesn't have to be oriented it just has to be in the correct spot this one we happen to be oriented so we're going to use that one as our base kind of cycle the corners around using the corner cycle from the layer by layer okay so now um, it happened to solve itself all the way you could come to a point where all the pieces are in the correct order or, or in the correct spot and then you just need to do a R prime D prime R prime D move like that to solve it or you could come to a position at one point where it looks like everything is solved on the entire cube except the one stubborn piece that's not everything else is solved see look at this everything else is solved except that one tiny piece isn't flipped the right way you're like well I did all the steps right that parity you can't have that on a 3x3 three three. you can't have only one corner you know you can't have a corner that's flipped just a little bit I mean this this is impossible on a 3x3 three three. but you're forgetting that when you have to flip the pieces at the end you have to do six moves okay take a look at your top layer and find your samey here's our samey okay so we're gonna do six moves and remember we can orient the samey however we want because when you flip it, it it's still the same position so we're gonna solve this one first using the R prime D prime RD moves I'm gonna solve it okay now it's solved now we're gonna take our samey which is back here and finish out the move so that was twice now I need to do it four more times three four five six because you always have to do it six times and there we go you'll notice that it is now solved so that's how you solve the shepherd's cube um, if you have any questions I'll be more than happy to answer them uh, so either send me a message or post a comment below in the comment box um, all of the algorithms will be posted in the description box over here to the right um, also um, the links to where you can get the Cusum stickers will also be posted there so if you have any questions feel free to ask and that is how you solve the shepherd's cube